This short video will look at the Item Attributes section of the Holdings Editor in Sitka's Evergreen. The Unified Holdings Editor is used in this video. To access the Holdings Editor, select the record the item you wish to edit is attached to. On the Item Table tab, click Edit underneath the barcode of the item you wish to edit. If you're adding new holdings, you can use the Add Holdings button. The bottom section of the Holdings Editor is the Item Attributes. This is where you can specify and edit the characteristics for particular items. You can change the status of the item by selecting a different status from the Status drop-down menu. Certain statuses cannot be assigned through the Holdings Editor, as they require an action to take place for the item to go into that status. For example, items will only go into the status of checked out by checking the item out to a patron. When creating new items, the status defaults to in process unless otherwise specified. The shelving location dropdown will display the available locations. You can type the name of a location in to narrow the list. Items will follow the Circulate, OPAC Visible, and Holdable parameters of the shelving location they are assigned to. Can Circulate is Holdable and OPAC Visible are set to Yes by default. These attributes can have their value updated to No to set items to not circulate, be holdable, or be visible in the public catalog if they're in a shelving location that allows items to circulate, be holdable, and be visible. These attributes should always be set to Yes unless the specific item should behave differently than what is set for the shelving location. Circulating library is the library the item is currently circulating at. Price is how much the item costs. Evergreen will use this price when billing patrons for lost items, so some libraries may choose to enter the replacement cost in this field rather than what the library actually paid for the item. For libraries using the acquisitions module, the cost attribute will be automatically filled with the build amount for the item. Libraries not using the acquisitions module may choose to use this field to manually enter the actual amount paid for the item. If your library has items that require deposits, is deposit required can be set to yes and the deposit amount can be entered to have Evergreen automatically bill the deposit amount to the patron on checkout. Circulation modifier is used by Evergreen to determine which circulation and hold policy to apply to items and holds. If the circulation modifier is left blank, the item will follow your default circulation policy at checkout. The circulation modifier list is lengthy and shared by all libraries. We recommend maintaining a local list of the circulation modifiers used by your library that indicates which modifiers you use for particular types of items. Circulation policies may also look at the Circulate, Reference, Shelving Location, Loan Duration, and Fine Level fields. Evergreen can be set up to apply different circulation policies depending on whether reference is set to yes or no. The Loan Duration and Fine Level attributes each have three options that can be configured so that Evergreen applies different loan periods and fines based on what is set in the item record. Leave these attributes set to normal unless you have had support setup policies that use the other options. Age-based hold protection can be used to restrict holds on specified items until they've been in your collection for a set period of time. Age-based hold protection can also be set up directly in your hold policies, so make sure you know whether you are using hold protection at the item level or via your hold policies. Item notes can be used to record information specific to your library's items. These notes can be set as public notes, which display in your public catalog. Item alerts can be used to generate alerts at check-in or check-out or both to give staff important information about the item, such as how many DVDs to check for. Some third-party self-check machines cannot display item alerts. Floating is used by libraries or federations that have collections that float between branches or libraries. When a floating item is checked in at a library in its floating group, it will remain at that library rather than go into transit back to the owning library. Only use this attribute if your library is part of a floating collection. Statistical categories are set up by individual libraries or federations to capture information that isn't otherwise included in the item record. 
StatCats can be set as required, in which case they must be filled in before you're able to save the item. Evergreen will automatically record information, including who created the item and when, who last edited the item and when, and when the item was activated. An item's active date is set when the item is checked in for the very first time. To exit the Holdings Editor, click on Apply All, Save and Exit after making your changes. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.